Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna make these delicious St. Patrick's Day cookies. <laughs> cookies. What? <laughs> Today we're gonna make these delicious St. Patrick's Day themed cupcakes. So stay tuned and see how we did it. So we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We have flour and cocoa powder and baking soda, salt, and baking powder. We'll have all the measurements listed down below. And we are gonna sift those into our bowl. We're gonna be adding coffee at some point in this recipe, and I never add it, but I hear, you know, it like brings out the chocolate yeah. flavor so much, but I just don't trust it. I feel like it's gonna taste like coffee. I, I haven't tried it either, but everybody swears by it. So. Yeah, it'd be fun if it really works. And what's funny to me also about the recipe is that she does like, this part is all in grams and the rest of it is all in cups. I had a recipe the other day that had fluid ounces, cups, <laughs> and grams, all in the same recipe. I've never seen like fluid ounces. Me neither. Are you doing anything to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? I will be eating these delicious cupcakes. <laughs> right, perfect. And then, so we have that. We'll give it a little whisk. Yeah. You wanna add our wet ingredients? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Should we just make mayonnaise instead? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever made homemade mayonnaise? I have not. Me neither. But I think it's like so much better. Yeah. Than so and I heard it's pretty easy. You yeah. just need a immersion blender. Which I don't have, uh, but, but I've never done it. I already have two eggs and half a cup of vegetable oil. Yes. This recipe does call for buttermilk, but we only have regular milk, so we're gonna add one tablespoon of vinegar to one cup of milk. How much vanilla does it need? Two teaspoons. 400 grams of sugar, which feels like a lot, but maybe it's not. <laughs> a lot of sugar in here. Do you ever do this? <laughs> no, I probably like... I'll do this when I get like tired of mixing. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. The recipe calls for one cup of water with one tablespoon of instant coffee added to kind of bring out the cocoa flavor. Make sure it's hot water. Yeah. We're gonna slowly add our coffee to our mixture while whisking so we don't scramble our eggs. And I think once you add a little bit, then they're tempered and you can do a bigger pour. Who needs a KitchenAid when you have friends? <laughs> <laughs> it scrambles. <laughs> so here's our very liquidy sugar, egg, oil, <laughs> coffee <laughs> mixture. And we just add it into there. Yeah, that's true. Okay. And give it a mix. Thanks. Make sure not to over mix. Yeah. Mix yeah. until just combined. I'm so excited. I love chocolate. So once it's all mixed, we can go ahead and start scooping it into our cupcake tins. Now this is where it gets messy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Am I overfilling these, you think? Um, I think it's fine. We'll just bake them a little longer. We put our cupcakes in the oven at 350 and we had some extra batter, so we're also gonna make two little cakes, which are also gonna go in at 350. Well, our cupcakes came out of the oven. They baked for about 20 minutes, and now we're going to start decorating. Yes, so to decorate, you need your vanilla frosting, which we didn't record because I feel like we've made it a bunch of times, and we'll put the recipe in the description, but very simple. So you need your frosting, your cupcakes, your unwrapped... <laughs> <laughs> little tower of Reese's. <laughs> that might not have been the best setup, sorry. <laughs> no, I like it. Your green sprinkles, and then we had white sprinkles. We dyed with yellow food coloring, and it worked out really well. So your gold sprinkles. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> your Airhead Extremes. So we're gonna start by piping a thin layer of the buttercream on. And then we're gonna dip it in our green sprinkles. They should come out looking like this. Ooh, that looks good. And then you're also gonna pipe a little bit of your icing onto your Reese's cup. And dip this into your yellow frosting. What? Your yellow sprinkles. For your little pot of gold. And they'll go right. <laughs> Got a little production line. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever think about AP humans? <gasps> that was eight. Nine years ago? Oh my god. No way. No, no. AP Human was ninth grade. That was nine years ago? Yeah. We revealed our age, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how old we are currently. <laughs> True. But I did say it was... Oh. They can count. Yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. The other day I counted on my fingers in front of my boss, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure he counts on his fingers too. We all do. Comment if you count on your fingers. <laughs> okay, we've got our pots of gold. 
And then you just take your Airhead Extreme as your little rainbow, stick it in the frosting. I think I cut mine a little too short. I think that works better. Yeah? Yeah. So cut them a bit shorter than you think, just because if they have too much, it'll kind of flop over. Oh, and they're really cute. They are really cute. That'll give it some structure too. Oh. Yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Cute? Yeah. These turned out so cute. They're so cute. I'm very proud of them. I feel like it was minimal effort too. It was, it really it was wasn't quick. that hard. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna give us a little taste test. I'd suggest not eating this in the bite, in the same bite, because it's chocolate. It might not be that yummy, but look at that. Cross section, beautiful. I think. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. And I don't taste the coffee. Mm -mm. I think mean, it worked. It worked out very well. Mm. That's so good. That's good. The cake is so moist. Mm. Mm. I rate it like a nine out of 10 or maybe an eight and a half. Yeah. I would go eight and a half out of 10 as a whole. The cake is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, the cake is so good. Yeah. Actually, you know, maybe I'd give it a nine out of 10 for the presentation. Oh yeah. I think because it's, I think it's cute. really cute. It's just like, your, it's a very classic flavor. It's just chocolate cupcake, mm -hmm. vanilla buttercream. So it's really classic, but I think it's so cute. Yeah. And like, I think everybody would like this. Like this would be so fun to bring like a little party or something. I think so too. And you yeah. can always play around with the frosting flavors mm -hmm. too, if you wanted to like spice it up a little bit. Yeah, but definitely. The cake is the star of the so show. So good. I do it's love the cake. Good. Yeah. So that was so much fun. So let us know if you make these. Yeah. They turned out so good. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye.